Right now, lots of companies are trying to protect their workers during this pandemic by having them work from home. But could this also be making them targets for cyber criminals? Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby is live now with some tips for businesses looking to protect themselves. Brendan. Hi, Byron. American businesses probably have never been as exposed as they are right now. Instead of working behind secure firewalls, many employees are virtually naked when it comes to criminals who steal with computers rather than guns. The numbers tell part of the story. The Sands Institute reports that cyber attacks on businesses were up 30% in the month of March alone. And Philip Long, a cybersecurity consultant with offices in Robertsdale and Mobile, tells me it likely is much higher than that because because these crimes often go unreported. Long says he advises companies to focus on shoring up four areas of vulnerability that account for about 80% of cyber assaults on businesses. One is making sure passwords are secure. Another is ensuring proper email filtration. Companies should also make sure that they stay up to date on software updates. And finally, they should make sure they have a properly configured firewall. This is doubly important with so many people not working in the office. One weak link can give criminals access to something far more valuable than cash, information. If you stole money, you know, you have whatever that money can do for you for the time. But if you steal data, there are so many avenues and so many things you can do with a person's data. It's like an oil well versus a tank of oil. Long says criminals can gather social security numbers and other sensitive information and sell it on the black market, or they can blackmail the target. That's what happened last year when Pensacola got hit by a cyber attack, he says. Damages can run billions of dollars on this, and Long says that no company is immune. Cyber crooks can scan large blocks of IP addresses just looking for holes that can get them inside. Reporting live for Fox 10 News, this is Brendan Kirby.